So I've got my iPhone here. Uh, it's a relatively new phone. I was looking through it the other day, and I found on here that you've got a ruler and a level. A couple apps on here that uh, I didn't know existed uh, until I found them. And it got me thinking, well, I wonder if I could use these in our club building work. So that's what we're going to look at today. Can I use my iPhone to help me build golf clubs? Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to the Mobile Club Maker. I'm AJ, thanks for watching. Today we are gonna be looking at my iPhone and trying to answer the question, is this possibly my next club building, club fitting tool? Is this the tool that I didn't know I needed until now? You know, your phone has become a part of your life and it became part of your golf life too. Uh, whether you're recording your golf swing on the range or the course, whether you're playing music through it, whether you're using apps to either you know, use the phone as some sort of launch monitor or you're using it as a GPS type uh, device, it's got numerous applications on the golf course. But I don't know that anyone has ever considered using your phone as a club building tool, as a club fitting tool. So that's what I want to look at today. Can I use my iPhone to measure golf clubs? And specifically, that's going to be looking at, can I measure length, can I measure lie angle, and can I measure loft? And more important than that, obviously, I know I can do all those things in theory, but can I measure them with any degree of accuracy where you would actually consider this to be a viable tool and not just, you know, a gimmick? Uh, so that's what we're going to look at today. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my iPhone and I'm going to try and measure two golf clubs. We'll grab an iron and we'll grab a wood out of my bag and we'll measure them as best we can using my iPhone. After we do that, we'll go back and we'll measure everything on the spec gauge and 48 inch ruler and we'll compare the numbers. We'll see how accurate was the iPhone compared to the very accurate traditional methods that we use of measuring. And we'll decide at that point, you know, is the iPhone possibly a useful alternative to these or is it just not worth the effort? So that's what we're going to look at today. So first off, let's go ahead and grab a couple golf clubs and start measuring. Okay. So I'm going to grab my 7-iron, and we got my 3-wood here. Okay, so 1-iron, one 1-wood. One and we're going to start off trying to measure these using uh, the iPhone. We'll start off doing length, and then we'll move on to lie and loft. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up our measuring app on the phone and see if we can't get a measurement for the length of this 7-iron. And we got a measurement of, what was that, three foot two, three feet two inches. So that is 38 inches. Okay, 38 inches. Okay, so now we've got the three wood. We're going to do the same thing measuring it. I had to flip it over this time so I could get the head to sit flat. Uh, so we're going to start at the grip end and measure towards the head. But let's see, uh, let's see what our little ruler app gives us on this one. And okay, here we go. And what did we get this time? We got a measurement of, what is that? Where'd it go? We lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it was, three feet and seven inches. Is that what that said? There it is, three feet, seven inches. Three feet, seven inches. So that's, what is that, 36 plus seven. So that is 43 inches. Okay, so we did the length measurements. Now we're going to check the lie and the loft. I'll do the seven iron first, and then I will do the three wood. I think the best way, thinking in my head of how to do this, again, I haven't tried this yet, but the first most important thing is going to be we got to make sure that the sole of the club is sitting perfectly flat. It can't be 
toe up or heel up because that's obviously going to throw off everything and the numbers will be junk if that's the case. So I'm going to try and get it, eyeball it as best I can, sitting perfectly flat. And then I'm just going to, I think, stick the phone, just kind of lean it flat against the shaft right here and see if the level gives me the, you know, the correct angle going right off of this section of the shaft here, kind of like you'd be using, um, you know, a loft lie machine and doing it the same way, measuring the shaft right there. So we'll do that for the lie angle for the loft. Again, we're going to have to make sure that it's completely perpendicular. Again, eyeballing it, heck, I could even try and use the level there and make sure that the shaft is completely perpendicular to the ground when I start out. And then I think I'm just going to take the phone again, in this case, just lean it um, up against the face of the club like this and see what it gives me for the measurement on the loft. So we'll do that for the seven iron and we'll do that for the three wood and we'll see what we get for numbers. So those are the measurements we got off of the iPhone. Um, I'll say the, the hardest part of that entire process was just trying to juggle the club and make sure that it was in the correct orientation when I was trying to measure it. I think maybe if I put it in my vise and held the club head in place with a vise, I might be able to get slightly more accurate. Um, but let's, let's see before we make any final determinations. Let's go ahead and measure these on the actual uh, ruler and the actual spec gauge, see what we get there. So I'm going to measure uh, the length on the seven iron and the three wood, and then we'll go back and do the loft and the lie angle. So let's grab the ruler. And let's measure our seven iron on this. We get a measurement of 37 and a half inches. I already, you know, I already knew that what it was going to be, but it's 37 and a half inches, basically kind of a half inch over standard. So 37 and a half inches on the seven iron. Let's check the three wood. is actually 43 inches so 37 and a half and 43 on the three wood oh this thing is heavy all right let's check okay so let's go ahead and check the loft in the line now on the actual spec gauge And the lie angle on that seven iron is 61 and a half. And we'll go ahead and check the loft also. It's about 31 and a half on the loft. And let's do the three wood.
and the lie angle on the three wood looks like about 62. And let's check the loft, about 14 degrees. Okay, so we can look at the numbers now, and I have to say, honestly, this came out way closer than I probably was thinking it was going to. Um, really, actually pretty surprised that the iPhone was pretty good as far as everything goes. So the three wood, uh, we checked the length, 43 inches we got on both the iPhone and on just the traditional ruler measurement. So that was right on, right on point. Uh, the lie angle we had when we measured it with the iPhone was 56 degrees. The measurement of lie angle on the spec gauge was 57 degrees. Again, you know, very respectable, very close. Uh, the loft on both of them, we got 14 degrees. So overall, you know, we were super close on that three wood, only one degree off on the lie angle. Uh, so I have to say, all in all, pretty darn impressive. Uh, the seven iron... We were a little bit further off. That's where we started to run into some issues. Obviously, the length was a half inch off because we can't get those half inch measurements once you get past, I think, 12 inches on this. So that left us with a measurement of 38, uh -huh. even though it's actually 37 and a half. Uh, the lie angle we got, again, the lie angle was very accurate. We got 61 degrees when we did it on the iPhone, and we got 61 and a half when I measured it on the spec gauge. Again, it's those halves. The halves are really the, the only real sticking point that I can see with this because it doesn't measure in those half degrees. So, you know, 61 versus 61 and a half. It's still really close, but, you know, it's not, it's not perfect. Uh, lastly, the loft. This is the only one that was kind of the outlier. We got a little further off. We were a full two degrees off on the uh, loft, which... You know, based on everything else being pretty accurate, I have to attribute just to me not holding things in the right orientation at the moment when I was taking the measurement using the phone because we got 29.5. Uh, well, it was fluctuating between 29.30, so I called it 29.5. And when we actually measured it, it was more like 31 and a half. So that's two degrees off. That's not great. Uh, obviously, if any of these other numbers were two degrees off, that would that would be a deal breaker right there. Uh, but I really think, again, if I did it again and tried to hold it a little more stable, or if I locked it in the vise to do it, I think I could probably get uh, within, within a half a degree, because it seems like all the other ones, we were within half a degree. Okay, so in the beginning, we were asking the question or questions, you know, can you use your iPhone, your smartphone to measure golf clubs, uh, specifically for length, lie, and loft? And I think we've shown you can. And the second part of that question is, is it accurate enough where you should? And I have to say, I would give it a tentative yes. Um, it showed to be very accurate with the three wood. The seven iron was a little bit more of an issue. Obviously the length and not being uh, able to measure half inches or half degrees could become a, a bit of an issue if you're trying to be more exact. But if you're on the golf course, if you're on the range and you've got a question about one of these things, it seems like a viable option to pull out your smartphone and, uh, and measure it that way. Or if you just don't have, you know, an elaborate piece of equipment like a spec gauge, this turns out to be a pretty accurate substitute. And who knows, you know, when they keep updating these things, they may get to a point where you're able to measure uh, in half inch increments or half degrees, or, you know, maybe we figure out a workaround at some point. But uh, all in all, I have to say, I was pretty uh, surprised and impressed that it worked as well as it did. So there you go. Take your uh, smartphone, even one more reason to bring your smartphone to the course now. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please go down below, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when new videos are released. Uh, we should have some more fun, interesting, informative videos coming up. Please leave a comment down below, or if you have a question, leave that. I try and answer all those comments and questions. Until next time, go play some good golf. Bye.